This is one of the internally displaced persons camps in the Afar region of Ethiopia. Tens of thousands of people are struggling and every day comes with its new challenges. In this camp we have uh, more than 905,000 householders. That is uh, two, from two uh, towns, that is Jifra is from 70,000 people's households are displaced uh, from Jifra. 2,500 is from Uwa Orada. As you are told, women, children and the elderly are the ones bearing the brunt of the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front insurrection in this region. As part of the, uh, the response team, you know, uh, here on ground, how will you describe the, the living conditions here? Yeah, the living condition is, is very uh, challenge for uh, women, especially in women, children and elders. For because uh, in these sites, uh, when they are coming here, there is uh, uh, they need uh, to provide before to provide uh, the shelter and the nephites. The situation is not much different in the Amhara region, where the rebel forces left a trail of destruction. Schools, hospitals, health centers, religious institutions, businesses, among others, were not spared. More than 214 innocent people were died. Among those, 107 children, about 80 very elderly people, as well as the all uh, you know services uh, that can provide health, education, water, as well as other social services. So all those uh, damages already happened. So about uh, above 10 billion Ethiopian beer have, have, have recurred as a loss. Borumeda General Hospital and Wallo University's Desi Campus in Amhara are in ruins and will require significant resources for their restoration. You know, it's, it, it will take us maybe a, a decades to, to bring you know, the university to it is at least the normal status, mm. to, to its normal status. You know, every floor, every item, every laboratory, every offices are totally looted, totally damaged. All the equipment, the laboratory equipment were stolen. It's on this backdrop that the Ethiopian diaspora and well-wishers have been on ground to assess the damage in the war-affected areas. Their mission is part of the great Ethiopian homecoming activities and the appeal by the Prime Minister, Dr. Abi Ahmed, for the Ethiopian diaspora to actively participate in nation building and restoration. So these issues of African countries having to be dependent on aid from the West doesn't necessarily have to be, particularly when there is wealth within the diaspora, right? So the Ethiopian diaspora clearly has the capacity to provide foreign direct investment. Let's say, for example, if uh, one diaspora, you know, pay $50 a month and that's $600 a year, and within 3 million diaspora, they can be $2.5 billion a year. That way we can offset all this uh, European Union support and uh, the U.S. Agua thing. Misinformation by the foreign media on the war in Ethiopia and external aggression is condemned by the diaspora and the locals. It's important that we create our own. We don't need BBC. We don't need CNN. We don't need Fox News. We don't need any of these reports, these other uh, news agencies to tell our story. We tell our own and it will be the truth. It will be the truth. Afar and Amhara are two regions outside Tigray that were invaded by the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front, TPLF, designated as a terrorist organization by the Ethiopian government. The wounds inflicted by the one-year war are fresh and the situation depressing. Denis Igoa,